Hey guys, it's Greg. How's it going? Today, I'm going to show you how to be a data analyst in five simple steps. Let me take you to the computer and show you the roadmap. The first course in the pathway is the Data Science Math Skills by Duke University. This is an excellent introduction to the field of mathematics, so symbols, logical way of thinking, graphs and functions, all of the really basic mathematical skills that if you don't have them already, I would really highly recommend starting with this course here. Next up is the Stanford University Introduction to Statistics course. Now this is really important to every data analyst. You're going to have to know topics like averages, variance and standard deviation, population distributions. The topics in this course are crucial, so please take this course. It's really important. Step three, we actually hit a crossroads and you have to decide whether you want to take the IBM data analyst on the left or the Google data analytics on the right. Now they're very, very similar. They're both going to teach a programming language and SQL and Excel, except the one on the left, the IBM teaches in Python and the Google on the right teaches in R. You have to decide which language you want to learn. If you're not sure, you can always take both. But if you want kind of my personal suggestion, I do think Python is going to take you further than R ever will. But for data analytics, you mostly will just be doing analytics itself. And either language is perfectly capable of doing that. Step four is the data visualization with Tableau course. Now, I do recommend this whether you took the Python or the R version in the previous step. Actually, if you took the Google course, you will have seen Tableau in that course. But either way, you don't need programming to learn Tableau. And you should definitely take this anyway, because you're going to get a lot further into the capabilities of Tableau. It is a very useful tool for data analysts. As the final step in the pathway, I would strongly recommend the Data Science with Databricks for data analyst specialization. This is very useful for learning something called Spark, which is available in both Python and R. In fact, most of the time, you'll be using SQL to interface with it. This is essential for moving big data, which is extremely common in big companies and even medium and small companies nowadays. Take this course and it is the final step in the pathway. So there you have it. That's the five step pathway to becoming a data analyst. The roadmap is in the description of this video down below. So be sure to take a look at that. And as always, have a great day, guys. I'll see you later.